this video we'll be covering how to migrate a configuration file from one Firebox to another using the Fireware web UI. This video assumes that you've watched the Prepare for Firebox migration video as that covers more details as well as some corner cases and special considerations. The first thing you'll want to do is log into your current device and then go to System configuration file and on the screen the first thing you'll see is download the configuration file. This is something you should do regularly just in case there's ever a device failure or you make a configuration change that causes you to lose access to the device. I'm gonna go ahead and download this right now and now that it's downloaded I'll go ahead and take a look at it just to show you what's inside. So it is currently in a compressed format and if I open it up you can see that the XML file is inside. This is where all of the configuration settings are stored on the Firebox. In order to migrate this I will need to connect to the web UI on the new Firebox or I could use the WSM policy manager. But for this example, I'll just stick with the web UI. So now I'm connected to the new device that I'm migrating the configuration to. I connected to interface number one and the IP address of 10.0.1.1 with the default web UI port of 8080. And now I'll just log in with the default credentials of admin and read write. So for this process, it's going to make me go through the initial setup wizard. It really doesn't matter what you configure here. When you choose the new configuration option, you can give it either just the default settings or whatever dummy settings. It doesn't matter because we will be replacing the configuration with the one that you're migrating. I'll run through that wizard now. The wizard just completed, and now I simply need to log into it. If you have changed these during that initial setup wizard, they will remain even after you import the configuration because management user information is not stored in the configuration file. Now that I'm logged into the box, I have to go back to the system configuration file menu. And here you can see there's the restore configuration file option. So I simply need to browse to the file that I downloaded from the other device. And there it is. And if you have extracted the XML from this file, that's fine too. It doesn't matter whether you import the XML or the .gz file, either one will work. Once that's selected, go ahead and click Restore, and it will import that XML file and load it onto the device. There we go, the restore is complete. If I go back to the dashboard, front panel, I should get disconnected because the configuration file that I restored is using a different IP address than the 10.0.1.1 default. So I need to remember which IP address was configured on the device I was migrating from and then connect to that address. So there we go, I've typed in the IP address that was in the previous config, so I know for a fact that the configuration migration was successful since the IP address had changed. But just to show you what the dashboard looks like now, you can see over here the name of the device has changed and all of my firewall policies are now loaded on the device. I'm not just using the default set of policies. For more information about migrating the Firebox configuration, please use the WatchCard technical search.